What is up everybody? It is Mr. J Pickles here and today I wanted to talk about everything that's going on, where I've been, what I've been up to and why there's been kind of a lack of YouTube videos. I also wanted to talk about, you know, just the future of Mr. J Pickles and everything. So hopefully I'll be able, well, I will be able to answer all of those questions that you guys have and let you know what's going down. So first off though, let me tell you that the gameplay you're watching, of course, is from my stream. It's ranked one ETC play uh, for from Hero League, and I thought it was a cool match. Thought you guys might enjoy watching it, and after I go over everything, I'll go ahead and kind of commentate the game, tell you what I was thinking and talking about. Uh, unfortunately, I can't play the actual audio from the stream because I was listening to copyrighted music, and I don't want to get in trouble. So instead, you'll just have my voice. I apologize. I know you're going to hear a lot of me today. So let's jump into it. As you may know, I've been working on Heroes Live with Steve. You may know him as Decay. And I'll put links down below of everything that I talk about and probably some annotations somewhere in here. You'll see it, though. But yeah, so I've been working on Heroes Live. And if you don't know what Heroes Live is, it's part of a bigger project called Player Clash. Player Clash is an esports organization that provides updates on competitive Blizzard entertainment titles. It's a hub for everything related to Heroes Live and for the up and coming projects for Overwatch. Now, my job for Heroes Live or Player Clash is to watch all competitive matches and create a recap that's short, sweet, and just covers the highlights. Kind of like just little snippets of it so you don't have to go back to the VOD and watch the entire five hour stream or three hour stream you can just watch the games see the highlights see the big fights and get a recap of who won now spoiler alert you will find out who won within like just a short period of time so know that going into it but it's great if you miss the matches you want to catch back up or maybe you saw the matches and you just want to see the highlights for it check it out it's really cool i uh i really enjoy it so it's of course, I'll post links down below of everything, but follow it, share it with your friends. We really want it to yeah, we really want it to succeed, but we can't really keep going without your guys' support and just sharing it out there. So talk about it, tell your friends, comment in the comments about it, which kind of yeah. So, but yeah, check it out. It's really really cool and I'm really excited for where it's going in the future and I hope you guys are excited as well because, you know, we need your support. Um outside of Player Clash, I of course have my own stuff going on. I am a streamer. Oh, let me <laughs> rewind. In case you know who I am and know what I'm about, then this is just kind of a news update about what's going on. And if you're new, welcome and you basically are getting a quick insight of what's going on and get to know more about me. So, moving onward, I am streaming. I am a streamer at twitch.tv slash mrjpickles. I aim to provide helpful tips on improving in the game as well as high-level gameplay, such as the one you're watching now. And if you have questions about any heroes, I'll answer them to the best of my ability, but there are some heroes that I am just not that great at. Murky, case in point, or Gazlo, I am not really the greatest at. But you talk about Anubarak, Abathur, ETC, Lost Vikings. I feel like I'm pretty good at those heroes. So um, there's a bunch of heroes though that I'm, I feel pretty good at. So if you have a hero, come ask questions in my stream. I love to help the community. I really love being a part of the community. And I want to help the community grow. So come check it out. Um, my stream schedule, it has been a little bit crazy lately. Crazy lately with all this work going on. So... I'm probably gonna switch up the times. I try to stream right now, 2 p.m. Central Time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Sunday later in the evening. If I can't stream, I'll post on Twitter and Facebook saying, hey, I can't make it. But if I can find random times to stream where it's like, oh, hey, I don't have to work at this hour, cool, then I'll also let you know on there and post it so that way you guys can get in. So make sure you follow there and also, I just post anytime I'm normally scheduled. So if it's like 2 p.m., I'll be like, hey, I'm, I've started streaming. What's up? Come hang out. Woo. And yeah, so I'll be reworking my stream schedule, though. So it isn't as sporadic. But right now, it's going to be a little bit crazy. So just bear with me, guys. Um, also, MrJPickles.com. It's still going and more is being added to it. It's being worked on pretty, pretty consistently. Your answers to the question that I asked long ago, which was, 
what would help you improve as a gamer, those will be used. Do not think that I just suddenly got rid of them. They're still, I still have them marked in my email, starred, everything. So don't worry. I will, will be using that content that you guys gave me. And also, um, if you didn't get to answer that question, go ahead and answer it down below. I read my comments and I like to respond as much as I can. Um, and yeah, so go ahead and answer down below. If you have already answered it, but you still, maybe something else came up that you're like, you know what? I could also really, this would help me improve. Like what would help, this would help me improve as a gamer. Go ahead and answer again, because I'll definitely use that, um, answer your questions and stuff like that. Um, also my guides, I know I have an Anubarak and Abathur and a lost Viking guide. I really want to make more guides, but I just haven't had the time to really dive deep into it to make like a really, you know, one that I want you guys to see and that I really know will help you and everything. Cause the next guide I want to make will probably be ETC just because I love this guy so much. He's amazing. And I just want to make sure that I dedicate enough. Like I want to put a lot of time into it cause I want it to be the best thing ever. I want to have everything there for you guys. So note that I am also going to be trying to work on guides. Um, got a little bit off track there, but whew, pulling back overall, I will be trying to get more YouTube videos out when I can. I'll be doing here. I'll be doing what I normally have been doing, which is hero spotlights going over their talents. What I like, what I don't like the builds I like to go with and then a game with that hero. So that way you guys can see kind of how the play style is. I'll basically get, let you guys get inside my head and talk about everything that I'm thinking of the situation and this, that, and whatever, just making sure you guys know everything that's going on in those videos. I also like to post stream highlights and games that are taken from the stream, such as the one you're watching right now. Um, that will all just be, you know, over time, I'll be trying to get more into that. Time is a huge factor right now. There's a lot of stuff going on and I just need to get it all organized. So bear with me again. I'm working. I'm trying hard guys. Um, all in all though, just so much is going on and I'm really excited because it's all because of you guys, all your support. I have over 200 subscribers on YouTube and it's growing regularly. I have a bunch of followers on Twitch and that's growing too. And it's really, really cool. It's super awesome. Just everything. I love doing this. I love entertaining. I love teaching. I love helping. And it's a lot of fun. I really really enjoy it so i can't keep i i need you guys and i need your support because you're you're the backbone of it you know i'm doing this for you guys and for your enjoyment so thank you all again so much i plan on doing this for a very 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 long time don't think i'm going anywhere anytime soon i will be continually doing all this stuff just thank you and I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start commentating it. So thanks again, though, guys. Thank you. Alrighty. So right here, we just had a big mosh pit and completely decimated the team. Pretty sweet. We just ended up going for the fort. Right now, I am solo queuing and I have mosh pit. Stage dive is kind of weak on this map. So that's why I decided to go for mosh pit. It's just... A lot stronger and you'll notice that I start kind of taking the call I know this looks pointless that I'm aiming at a wall trying to take it out but it's for the good of the team because those walls those little walls they don't give any experience but they do give vision so it's kind of nice just to take them out the team kept pushing mid and I decided you know we we should probably back we got a nice lead we got a fort we still have a web weaver up here so we're gonna go ahead and push top so some of them come over there and help out just kind of you know as I'm aimlessly taking out that wall just trying to retreat unfortunately the team gets caught two ultimates go down I try and save a new but I'm unable to I mean I have 46 gems so my life is pretty important I don't want to lose those gems so just go ahead and power slide out now right now since we have such a big lead I know they're on the top half of the mat I decide to go down to the bottom to turn in my gems you just saw me pick up spell shield the reason being is that they do have a kale thos and that's a lot of damage that kale can put out they also do have a Jaina, which ends up getting perfectly body blocked. If you didn't know this, body blocking with ETC is huge. And that little spot right there, that little vent is a huge choke point. So it's really important to take that out. 
calling out some things to help with your team and just working better together is calling out when your ults are up. So as you can see, I said mosh, mosh up, which, you know, just to help the teammate know like, hey guys, mosh is up. We can go for an engagement right there. I wanna do a little flank tactic because running up at them straight forward is gonna be pretty, pretty easily seen. Now, Brightwing did see me, so they do know that I'm there, but still going in for that engagement. Now, right here, I land a pretty good mosh pit, but the shield from Johanna was perfect and interrupted it instantly. We were able to kill Volo, though, in that uh, spare time and also take bot fort. So losing the mosh pit did kind of suck, but having such a huge gain right there was pretty nice. And then right here, this Jaina just poked out a little bit further and got caught. I'll post the uh, build also that I'm using. I'll post it in the comments section below. That way you guys know what build I was going for. Basically though, it's the, I think both the power slide talents for the increased range and then increased speed. Level seven, I think I got the increased range on the knockback. Level 10 is mosh pit. Level 13, I believe is spell shield. And yeah, we haven't gotten to 16 yet. So you'll see those soon enough. Just a little bit of poke tactics going on. I noticed that the web weavers are about to die. So decided to go ahead and take the knights. There's not much the enemy team can do right now. They are down in two levels. So we have a pretty good, you know, barrier right now for experience. So right now, the more we take, the better. Wait for an engagement. We don't really want to take too big of an engagement when Mosh is down. So just have to be careful of that. Now, right here, I really didn't have to sit there and take out that wall. I took a lot of damage for it and really didn't get much out of it. Just a wall and then we ran away. So level 16 pops up right now. I'm trying to think what is the best talent. I believe I decide to go for the the Encore. Yeah, so there you could see it right there. It When you use your face melt, it triggers once and then another a little like boom box or stereo system will sit there and then it'll trigger it again so it's kind of cool just a double knockback now right now my mosh is almost up we're level 16 to their 14 that means we're a talent up we've got a huge lead we decide let's bait out boss but then zagara as you can see is a little bit caught so right here we just land a chase i could go for a mosh pit on those two targets but as you can see johanna is unstoppable meaning my mosh pit slide would not be able to do anything that is my doorbell, by the way, that you're hearing. And some dogs you may hear in the background, but ignore that. You don't hear it. So right now, I go for the mosh pit. I hit a four-man mosh pit. Johanna tries to stop the CC and pulls me out, but is unable to. We pick up three kills for none. Johanna gets trapped in there. And one of the biggest things, of course, with ETC is body blocking. As you can see, I am just not letting this Johanna get away from me. Put her on the other side of that W. She gets knocked back. She dies. Full, almost a full team white. Bright wing is still up. So take the fort. Decide let's not overextend our welcome. We don't really have anything. Just a few minions. We could have probably gone for end game, but it would have been a little bit risky. And being hero league and also wanting to win, you know, don't want to take too many risks. Because one thing, you know, you need to be careful. If you overextend your welcome and they get a team wipe on you, then you could lose a huge lead that you just had. So have to play a little bit smart, have to be careful. So going for boss is just nice. We don't really do a whole lot with it. We kind of just let it go to its death. But with that map pressure, we know that they're there. We have enough gems to turn in for another set of web weavers. There's our night camp up and there's also the siege camp at the bottom. So just to turn in put what gems we have and then go back get mercenaries and just all out pushes the game plan right now because we got a huge lead we have a talent up still they just hit 15 we don't really have to worry too much we can just kind of you know do whatever so clearing up the bot lane our team is just performing really well i think in the chat somebody was like see you guys are just stomping them and one of the reasons why we're stomping them though is because we're playing really well i'm landing some really good moshes the team is following up we're sticking together nobody's really getting caught out and so we're just kind of working as a unit in comparison to where they seem a little bit sporadic and all over the place now one of the big things that the enemy team can do to kind of change that is interrupt my mosh pit because mosh pit is one of those big ulties to where if you miss it you're kind of screwed, but if you hit it, oh man, you can just take the lead immensely. So it's really cool. As you can see, again, I say moosh up. 
I can't type very well apparently, so I call out that my mosh pit's up and I'm ready for an engagement. Yet again, I could go for Johanna, decide to get on the other side of her, body block a little bit. There is a keep there though, and the team is pretty far behind, so decide to stop going for it. The roots went down, didn't really have to do too much, just kind of waiting, playing it patiently. You notice the enemy team, they'll start to play a little bit more spread out, and I have to be careful that Brightwing can interrupt me, Vala can interrupt me, Johanna can interrupt me, and Kale Foss can interrupt me. So there's a lot of interrupts on the enemy team, and I have to at least try and get a majority of them in, but you can see they're just so spread out. So really biding my time, not a whole lot to worry about since they are getting pressured in all the lanes with web weavers. And right here, I find a spot, I go for it, I hit two, Kael'thas perfectly interrupts me, but by the time that all of that happens, the enemy team is already very low. Their support goes down. They're getting pushed in three different lanes and the our team is just able to overcome. So as good as that mosh pit or as bad kind of as that mosh pit was, we were just so far ahead that it was almost too late to come back. So thank you all for watching. I will have links of everything that I talked about earlier in the video about just what's going on heroes live and all of that and i really want to thank you guys again so much for your support and continued support and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching take care